Good morning all, this is Kosala, aka Marventus again, showing you yet another newbie disaster movie. Uh, now, uh, if you've been following along my previous stuff that I've been posting on my channel, you, you'll know that I, I, do, uh, I do my own, my own shows, my own games. Uh, and it's uh, about documenting the learning experience as Zerg, which I have chosen to be. Now, the reason I chose Zerg is because of the variation it provides and because of the, the dynamics of, of the Zerg environment. But it also causes a lot of problems and there is a lot to master. Now, it's been going reasonably decently against Terrans for the time being. I've managed to get that rolling reasonably well. I still struggle with Protoss though, and this particular matchup was just an excellent, excellent learning experience in, in how to get how to, well stuff to think about really now the the first thing you need to worry about with protoss is that early rush so here i am uh, it's as the blue uh, zerg in the top left corner and we have our opponent winternet as the uh, the teal protoss in the bottom right corner now he's scouting up the right side and i'm overlording down to his base because i know it's there since it's jungle basin now I keep going back and forth on, on strategies against Protoss, but I think at the end of the day, there is just one opener that works. And that is to amass roaches. Right, a combination of roaches and a small amount of banelings. Uh, or maybe a mass amount of zerglings, depending on how you want to look at it. Right, but uh, it's absolutely essential to get the roaches out. Now, roaches are a good investment early on, because they actually do extremely well against both zealots and, uh, uh, and stalkers. So it's a safe bet to amass a few, right, a bunch of those early on, regardless of what's coming at you. Because in the beginning, it can pretty much only be zealot. It can either be a zealot rush, uh, a stalker rush, or a combo zealot stalker. In this particular case, it turned out to be a combo zealot stalker. And we got totally owned. I got totally owned. Okay, but let's see how this is going. So I'm droning away here. Uh, and uh, I've got my spawning pool up, because I knew there was going to be an early rush of some kind, and I wanted to have a queen or two swimming. I also got an early gas to make sure that I was prepared to toss out a few roaches. So the thinking at this point was going fine. The execution is what failed. Right, and uh, the biggest lesson I took out of this was the credible necessity to micromanage your armies in the midst of fights, especially in these early stages, because it makes all the difference in the world, and you'll see in just a moment why. So here comes my queen, and she's going to be busy larvaing away. Right, I got my first couple of Zerglings out, and I do what I always do with my Zerglings. I run them to um, uh, towards the Zelnaga Towers and man them. I spy a, a Protoss uh, probe out here, and I go and nuke that one in just a little bit. And I've also noticed that in this game, I didn't actually utilize my minerals um, and my management of overlords well. Uh, I'm going to rush ahead in this game a little bit now to show you what happens, but I get supply blocked at the absolute worst conceivable hour. So here we go. My overlord's coming in. I see what's going on. I see the cybernetic score. I know at this point there's a warp gate. Warp gates are out. Here are, my, are things being pulled out. That's almost definitely going to be stalkers or zealots. And I spy the stalker. So, so far, everything is pretty clear. I know what to expect. Now it's just about reacting correctly. So what do I do? I get up my Roach Warren, I have the Evolution Chamber running right up for the upgrades, and I've got my Spawning Pool up and I'm researching Metabolic Boost. I also plop down an Expansion. No problem with doing this, you have the time and the minerals to do this, so it's absolutely no problem to get this done early. My Zelnaga Towers are manned, I can see things coming reasonably. And I should have put some, something out here at the bottom of the base, but I actually forgot to do that in this round, which, which uh, is probably not a good thing. But here we go. Zealots being masked up. Stalkers being masked up. Okay, now I'm going to decrease this down to normal speed again for the last two minutes. Now here's the first push. They're starting to push out towards this central location. And uh, a pylon has been put up. Now, I didn't, I didn't catch the pylon either, which was frankly a galactic mistake. I should have been patrolling this area. And I didn't. So that was unwise. Unwise of me, I say. Now, look at this. This is, this is still not an army that's really that significantly problematic. Because if you go back and look, I've, I've amassed a huge amount of minerals. I've got the, uh, the gas count going. 
I have the lava, I've got 11 in there, I like to amass a little bit of lava extra to be able to handle this, these early rushes, but when they, so you, you never know what kind of unit you want. But what they did was they took out some overlords of mine, and my supply dropped to 27, 28, and I totally missed that, because I was expecting that to be at 50, and I wasn't paying attention, and my supply count dropped drastically just before this attack came. So once they came charging in, I was attempting to do a last minute roach um, creation and then realized only then that I was supply blocked. So I had to plop out a couple of overlords and that's where things got screwed up because my timing went completely down, down to shit because of this. So here comes the push and I see it coming and I try to develop some right there and I uh, instead need to wind up developing overlords. Right, so three overlords did actually get popped out but at that time these guys are already moving. So now I'm mass producing roaches and pay close attention to this dilemma as it happens. My roaches pop out, but what do I do with them? I just leave them there and I'm busy trying to I pick roaches out of this particular lair. But instead of doing that, I should have micromanaged my roaches as they popped out because they just got annihilated due to poor micro as you will see in just a second. Come on, roaches! Come on! Come on, I say. A couple of queens coming to help out and they get creamed. I didn't micro those either. Base, my drone's dying here. Here come my roaches. Look, there are two guys going over here. I have no idea why. These guys are not focus firing anything and getting completely annihilated by because they're trying to move over to this location because I had my damn base pointing right to that point. So instead of fighting, the roaches are trying to move out there. Oh my goodness, the utter disaster. I could have taken out this entire army without the slightest problem. And instead, because I had the, my, the, the base location put to here for the overlords, I totally forgot to properly micro the, um, the roaches, and when they came out, they just got completely eaten up by the army for absolutely no reason at all. So that was just complete silliness. And I had a bunch of uh, Zergling sitting around here, which I could have sent to the attack and taken out that pylon at any time. So really, just all-round poor microplay here that caused all the problems. Otherwise, I would have had this game and this beginning well in hand. So, important thing to learn there, folks. The starting happened perfectly well. I, had the, I did the scouting correctly. I made the right conclusions. They were, it was indeed a roach heavy right build that I should have gone for and then I made the galactic mistake of not micromanaging my army correctly. Thus, utter hilarity and annihilation ensued. Alright, so remember, moral of the day, micro the crap out of your units or they will die. There we go my friends. Wisdom from Marventus. This is the way the world works. I shall be back with even more good stuff later on in the day and in the days and weeks ahead. Looking forward to having you guys view all of that stuff. Subscribe, comment, and do whatever else that you do on YouTube. Ta-ta all.